Hi everyone, welcome back to my Animal Crossing New Horizons series. This is part 62. Last episode we went on a villager hunt and we were able to invite Ketchup to our island. Um, I'm pretty excited to go ahead and check out her house. In this episode, we'll go ahead and continue decorating our island. I've actually decided to pick out some smaller areas where we can actually go ahead and decorate, which is what we'll be doing in today's episode. I'm pretty excited about this. As usual, we have Isabel's broadcast here, where she is actually encouraging us to go ahead and talk to Ketchup. But I think we do have to wait for another day before we can actually talk to her. Either way, I am pretty excited for today. It's also pretty cool to see this rainy weather on my island and I think it definitely fits the theme of my island. So probably if I do have to have a perfect day on this island, it would be a rainy day. It also seems like a bell is on our island but I'm not going to talk to her yet. First thing I want to do today is go ahead and clear out all the items in my pocket. I remember picking out quite a few cherries from one of the island and didn't really get time to kind of sell it off offline so that's what we're gonna do today and it seems like we have a new item that i was looking out for which is this one right here this gigantic flower right here is something that i did use as an iconic piece right in front of my museum last time and i definitely want to use this one on my island but i'm not really sure where to actually use it Let's see where we can actually use it later, but I did go ahead and buy that item. As I did mention, I did have a couple of items in my pocket which I had to sell. Um, there are other items which I have to pick up. Those items, I just dropped them off on the island uh, before I went for villager hunt yesterday. So I'm quickly going to go ahead and pick them all up. Now, the first thing I wanted to decorate today is actually this part right here, which apparently, once again, I forgot. Um, maybe it's because it is at the side of the house itself. But let me quickly go ahead and add some dark dirt path here and make it look a bit good. I'm also hoping to uh, find the DIY recipe for the rope fence, which I think will actually look good right here. So if I do find it, I'll go ahead, craft it and place it in the front uh, to kind of avoid people from going down the cliff over here. Now, other than this area, I definitely want to go ahead and try to decorate the front of Jerry's house. Um, it's at the end of the island and I really have not touched that whole cliff. So I definitely want to start working on it. Usually while decorating my island, I tend to kind of ignore the larger areas because it takes a lot of time. But in this case, I think I have kind of run out of smaller areas. I might have a couple of parts that I could complete. But at some point, I definitely have to tackle those future cliffs, which I think I'll go ahead and try today. I'm super excited about that. I also decided not to change the outfit for now. Since I will be time traveling in this episode and I might end up changing my outfit in the next day. Now that I have put different patterns all around the trees, I think we could actually add a couple of um, items that I do have in my pocket. Which by the way, I did actually craft offline. I think I already had these items before starting the last episode. So I'll be able to actually use it right here. While running around the island for my message bottle, I realized that I had a lighthouse in my pocket. This is something I wanted to place in the left side of the island, so I'm just quickly gonna go ahead and do that. I also have a couple other items which I have customized. Hopefully, I'll be able to use them while decorating this island. As for the message bottle itself, I think it's at the front of the island. Yep, here it is. Let me quickly go ahead and check what they are various piece we have. It's a cherry dress which I already own, so I guess I'll be selling out this DIY recipe. The next thing to do for me on my list is to just see if Cherry is actually inside her house, which in this case she was. She has definitely avoided me for the past week and I was not really able to check out the furnitures in her house, which by the way is all red. Um, 
surprising, but I think it does suit her. Anyway, let's quickly talk to her as well now that we are here. And I'm pretty happy to see her house. I really like her flooring. I mean, it definitely is two ways. I'm not really sure if this is the actual flooring itself, but it definitely does suit the design. Although sitting on her toilet is not really what I want to see. So let's move out. Anyway, now that we are around her house, I think we can actually go ahead and decorate this vine. It is a pretty large area, but I think I'll be able to at least put a layout on this vine before we go ahead to the next day. Once again over here as well, I realized that I kept the house a bit further. I'm not really sure uh, why I did this because initially when I was placing the house, um, I meant to kind of keep them a bit in the back. In this case, it might be mostly because of the fact that we don't really have too much space to place a house behind there. As I did have a plan of having the waterfalls right next to the house. Either way, I think we can still make this one work. In this case, I did go with cedar trees as I thought it would look good. Um, maybe on the other side of this waterfalls, I might go with the fruit trees. Around this main area, I'm also hoping to kind of have a small area for all the rocks because um, I really like to have them in one place. I've seen a lot of people do this uh, where they have all the fire rocks in their island in the same place. Hopefully, I'll be able to achieve that myself. As far as decorating this house goes, I do have a couple different items that I could actually use. Um, there's this wind turbine which might look good but I probably have to keep this one behind the house. Um, I also have a couple different other items such as a water tub uh, which I did kind of go ahead and customize into having green moss all around it. But let's see which items we can definitely use. This looks pretty cool for now. Um, once I do have all of these trees fully grown, I can then go ahead and create a path. I also want to go ahead and clear out my pocket, so I'll just keep this windmill right here. Now this is not its final area. Um, I'm gonna use it right next to the heart shape point. But for now, I think it can just stand right here and we might be able to move it in the future. There we go. Um, all the other items I seem to have here are all um, very small items that I might use to kind of decorate the path. So I won't be able to kind of place them anywhere around here. Let me run around a bit and see what other items I can place. Um, like here, I might place this big huge flower. Um, I'm not really sure what I would decorate around it. But that is the place for that. I'm also excited to go ahead and decorate the front of Bones house here which I am hoping to add a path that goes around his house and I guess make it look good. After all that is the main thing for decoration but I'm just gonna place all of these huge items which I own and see how I can actually decorate all around it. There we go that is on the different items. In the meantime, I was able to find some balloon presents that were flying around and I did go ahead and pop them. A couple of these items are pretty cool and I definitely have to go back to my house to place them in the storage. While going back to my house, I decided to go ahead and decorate right here. Uh, we do have a silo. I think I'll be able to um, go ahead and decorate the small area that is going to the log stairs. I already had a bird bath right here but decided to go ahead and add a couple of these iron fins which is one of my favorite. Right here my main idea would be just making a path that is going to the silo itself to kind of have something to access it and I think I'll go ahead once again with my favorite path which is the stone path right here. I also wanted to go around the log bench that is behind there. So let's see how we can actually add this. Now since I do have a lot of items in my pocket, I will try to kind of use all of them. I definitely did actually 
um, create some of these items from the DIY recipes I was able to find. But I do have to buy some more from Nookstop, which um, I think are quite unique. Anyway, there we go. Uh, that is on the path to the locked bench. I also need another path that would go ahead and go to the lock stairs itself, which I might be able to connect it from this lock bench right here. But of course, at the end of the day, the main theme for this small area here is definitely the silo which I also actually went ahead and customized to have red color. You can also customize it to have green color as well as black. Um, I think there was yellow. Um, I'm not really sure, but I think the red one right here looks super cool. I'm also planning to go ahead and buy another one and maybe have it in green color. Anyway, let me see how I can actually connect the stone path to the lock stairs. And at the same time, stop myself from using all the items I have in my pocket, which I think I tend to do a lot. There we go. Um, I just need a couple more items to, um, I guess, cover up the spaces around here. Uh, not just the stone path itself. Maybe I'll be able to plant some flowers, which um, I guess I do have some seeds which I could kind of plant. There we go. That is on the stone path. I'm also going to go ahead and use a couple of these fences since I did actually um, craft them. At the end of the day, I just want to make sure that all of these paths do actually look good. But sometimes I do wonder whether all of these are according to my theme. Because usually when I pick up a spot, I go with whatever design that comes to my mind for that path. Uh, but it does not necessarily mean that it would look good when it's combined with another area. In this case, I decided to go ahead and make some designs here as well. Since this is a small area right next to the waterfalls. I also want to use some unique items like this iron garden chair, which I think I might be able to use it around here. Recently, I did see a recipe for a iron garden bench. Which is an item I definitely need and I'm gonna try to find. If I do find one, I might be able to actually use it around this area. But of course, in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and decorate it with all the other items that I have. I might have to add a stone path here as well. To have a path that is leading to those, um, I guess uh, those are carrots. I'm not really sure what I just um, planted over there, but I do need a path to that. I might be able to connect this path to the bridge, but let's see how it goes. Now right here, rather than using the chair, I might be able to use another item, which is the garden faucet. I think this does make more sense to have a faucet right next to the waterfalls or a river rather than having a chair. Plus, I'll be able to add a chair anywhere else, uh, maybe around here, right next to the bridge. Um, I think that would look much better. Either way, there we go. I was finally able to actually connect it to the bridge itself. Now, I don't really want to cover the stone path too much, considering that I do have to have another path around here. Uh, which would be leading to the lock stairs that is initially entering this cliff. But I guess we could actually check that out once I do start with decorating this whole huge part right here. Now that I have decorated the area over there, I think we can move on to another new area to decorate. Right here I found Mitch having the thought bubble. I really thought she was trying to leave the island, but she actually wanted me to visit her house which is pretty cool so i did go ahead and accept it it's pretty rare that my villagers actually invite me to their house so usually when that happens i do go ahead and just visit them at least even if it's for a minute or two now i do have to apologize if you do hear some water sounds it is rainy season and it's raining heavily here so you might happen to kind of hear um, the rain kind of in my background so I'm really sorry about that but here we are in our house which is pretty nice 
I mean, we're definitely going ahead with increasing the number of friendships I have on this island, which is pretty nice. I'm also going to go ahead and talk to her to see if she wants to play any game. Alright, um, she is just telling me a story about her dustbin, which is typical image, but I'm just going to ignore it. There we go, she does definitely want to play a game right here. I guess we can try this one. After all, the cards game is so much better than the other one. She did get the first number as 3. So I might be able to win this by selecting a higher roll. Uh, but you never know. Sometimes you might get a probability of getting a lower number like this one right here. Ah, that's okay. Let's talk to her a bit more before we leave her house. I think I definitely want to go ahead and... Um, time travel to the next day to see an improvement on my decoration. But before anything, here Mitch is actually asking me to select a furniture in her house that I could actually um, buy. I mean, I really like all of her furniture. The only one I'm fine with is removing that dustbin. So that is what I'm just gonna go ahead and buy. After all, Mitch's house is just perfect. I don't want to ruin it. That is also the reason why I never gifted her anything that was furniture because I do not want to kind of disrupt this really nice house. Maybe I'll be able to give her this dustbin back as a gift on a later stage. I'm not really sure if that is going to affect her friendship level but um, that is something I could definitely do. Now, before I go to the next day, I actually decided to go ahead and change the outfit. So here we are. Since it is raining most of these days, even in game, I just definitely wanted to try out my raincoat. Um, this is one of those items that I got as a gift, but I wasn't really sure if I would get a chance to use it. Now, since it is rainy season, I'll be finally able to use this rain hat as well as the raincoat. Anyway, um, if you think the outfit is just not matching, that's because I'm just using all the items I have in my closet. Sadly, none of them really match, but I think it still looks pretty cute. Anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and check out Nook Stop before I do end out and go to the next day. After all, I do have this 300 miles bonus, which I definitely do not want to lose. Nook miles is something that is very important. Uh, considering that I am spending them on Nook Mile tickets as well as some of the other items that you can actually order from Redeem Nook Mile. So definitely this um, bonus that I have running will actually help me a lot. Well, after I did buy quite a few items from Nook Stop, I decided to go ahead and change up to the next day. So here we are. Once again, we have Isabel's broadcast. But I don't think we have anything um, important, so we can go ahead with decorating. Hopefully, I do have all the items I ordered right here in the mailbox. Alright, never mind. They are here. Um, some of these items I think will be very helpful. Some of them I just bought to just try it out. I'm not really sure if they would really work well with my island. But we're just gonna go ahead and use the design to see how it looks. Especially this cube light right here. Before I start decorating a new area today, I'll go ahead and check out all the areas I decorated in the beginning of this episode. Just to make sure that it actually looks good. Here is the first one. That is the silo. I think it's pretty fine. Maybe it needs a couple more items. But I guess that has to actually wait. As for this one here, here we have the small stone path that is leading up to the waterfalls and it looks pretty good as well. As for the path right here next to Cherry's house, the trees are definitely growing. I think I'll be able to uh, wait for a bit more before I start decorating completely. I'm, I'm just uh, worried that these trees might not fully grow. Either way, that does look good. I'll go ahead and leave it as it is right there. Here we have Ketchup who has finally moved in completely to our island. I am super excited by the way to check out her house. 
maybe one of these days we can go ahead and check out her exterior as well as interior of the house itself i do have to say she does look pretty cute now since it is a new day i did come back here as well i think this is where we decorated yesterday and there we go it looks pretty nice i might have to add couple of fences here although i'm not really sure maybe i'll be able to add one right here i'm also looking out for the rope fence which i did mention previously um if i do find it i'll be able to go ahead and use it in front of flo's house before that let's check out all the furniture we have for today right here in nook's cranny oh all right we do have a hammock which i can definitely buy um the chess board is definitely pretty interesting but i don't think i have enough to actually buy it maybe i'll be able to buy this chess board the next time it actually appears for now i'm just going to go ahead and ignore it as it is 95000 bells for a chess board personally i feel that it's too costly even for animal crossing so i'm just going to ignore that item Well, the next part that I am going to be designing is this one behind resident services building. This is going to be the main part that's either going to lead to the campsite or to all the villager houses that are behind the resident services building. So it's a pretty main part. Let me see what I can actually design. Maybe I'll be able to use one of my parts that I have downloaded. and try to actually create a path from here to the next waterfalls usually when i tend to design a narrower path like this i like to use very less items just because we don't really have too much space right there you might have seen me use a cube light which i think will be helpful when it's night i'm not really sure but it does make the path look good so i'm just going to go ahead and use it I also want to use a different pattern right here. Um unfortunately I haven't really found any brown paths yet just because um I haven't really been searching that much in the internet but I'll definitely go ahead and take some time and try to find one at least by the next episode. Initially I definitely wanted to add the stone path here. which by the way is a bit tougher considering that we only have a couple of these patterns for the stone path i'm not sure if i can keep this up until the end of this path um maybe i'll be able to go ahead and choose another design but before that let me quickly go ahead and use a log fencing right here there we go that definitely does look good As for the path pattern, I went with this one. This is, I think, the third design that I had downloaded. I'll be able to go ahead and use this all around this path until the tree item that is over there. I actually didn't realize that this path is pretty small, but apparently it is. Um, I guess it does not look small when you are actually walking through it, but if you do see it like this in a higher angle, it definitely looks pretty short. Either way, that is all on this path design. I don't really have to worry about the other side or this junction over there. Um, I'm going to be going ahead and decorating it in another episode. But for this episode, we definitely did decorate multiple areas, and I think it is pretty cool. Um, in the next one, we are probably going to go ahead and decorate this cliff, which is pretty huge. But I do have a pretty cool idea for it, so I'm pretty excited to work on this one. Anyway, that's all I had for today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to support me more on Patreon, check out the links in my description. And I'll see you guys in the next one.